So in um, this video, what we're going to do is look at the research question that I've put together. Um, so the issue or theme that I want to investigate is um, research in the way uh, which students understand information in cross-section drawings using CAD and physical models. So um, it's in particular reference to the compulsory question one of the Leibniz Construction Studies Theory Test. Um, and it does tie in with other questions as well on the exam paper and in the syllabus. So um, where it came from, first off, uh, if it was to go with myself, it would be from my experience in school. Uh, it was rote learning is how we approach drawing questions. Uh, no physical models, no CAD models, no use of technology really at all. Um, then it goes through to uh, school placement then as well. My crop brain teachers taught it in that way. It was rote learning your list of drawings. Um, I decided to take a different approach and I use SketchUp as well as SolidWorks models to show them a bit more information about the cross sections drawn. Uh, we'd interpret it a different way. I'd have made little small uh, pieces of timber that we'd put together, model it up, and you get an idea as to how the construction of the house is done. Then we'd approach a drawn question. It became much easier for them to understand from what I experienced anyway. So that's why I want to go with this team. Um, so yeah, um, I believe myself, previous teachers and school placement experience. Um, the information and the research, 100% really valuable to other teachers as well. Um, see how student understanding can be improved. Uh, so the research question itself, effectiveness is using computer-aided design modeling compared to physical modeling prior to drawing tasks and student learning. So at the bottom, I just have the main words and the approach I want to take with it. Um, literature started off with kind of a broad topic, so improving um, working memory training, or sorry, improving learning through working memory training. Um, refined it then, so made sure I was coming from the correct approach, which is why I took Gibson's paper. Um, it really identifies the different types of knowledge, uh, technological capability, and how it can be achieved. So that was very important. Um, my other two papers then as well. Um, one favorite 3D um, CAD modeling, and then the other was physical modeling. So I just wanted the two aspects. I then revisited Gibson's paper just to give me an all around uh, view of the, the literature. Um, research method, so I captured the data, building rapport with the participants of the study in a humanistic manner. So um, due to the fact that I'd align with the interpretivist paradigm, um, I don't want previous participants to influence the questions, interviews, or how I build a rapport with a person. It's their own reality, their own way they understand things. They need to be approached completely independent of the previous person. Um, so a qualitative collection of data through participant interaction and observation, focusing on the know why as opposed to the know how. Uh, implications for practice, 100% teachers gain a valuable insight into student learning, begin to move away from routines of rote learning, uh, shows the implications for the use of physical models and CAD models in technology education uh, a bit broader. And of course, the main thing, students have an active learning environment, which is very